you, ladies and gentlemen. You are about to witness a truly remarkable phenomenon. A female savage from the dark continent, Africa. Oh. I am Hendrik Cesar, and I captured her in the forest where she roamed freely among her people with the express purpose of bringing her here to show you. Oh. Let me not keep you waiting a moment longer. Ladies and gentlemen, I give to you the heart and top Venus. Oh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I am one of the few white men on the African continent that speak her tongue. I have just asked her to stand up. <laughs> Now, we will reveal the exquisite face of the Venus Hottentot. Jika, Jika, dry on, dry on, Jika, turn around. Ladies and gentlemen, I will now reveal it to you fully. I pray you, control any reaction of fear lest she respond with violence and anger. Bear in mind that she is a genuine savage and reacts with ferocious instinct. If there is any among you of a sensitive nature, <laughs> We can bear to witness the exhibition. I pray you, leave the theater now. No Quietly. Do not fear, ladies and gentlemen. I have her under complete control. Ladies and gentlemen, I pray you be calm. Now, after months of arduous training, the Venus Hottentot will show you the ability she has to parade as a European lady. <laughs> I pray you, I pray you, sir, you observe. Promenade. Promenade. Hey. Promenade, no. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Special Sarah Bartman was one of the first black women known to be subjugated to human sexual trafficking. She was derisively named the Hot and Tot Venus by Europeans as her body would be publicly examined and exposed inhumanely throughout the duration of her young life. Moreover, her experience reinforced the already existing and extremely negative sexual fascination with African women bodies by the people of Europe. Sarah Bartman was born in 1789 at the Gamtus River, now known as the Eastern Cape in South Africa. Bartman and her family were members of the Ghana group of the Khoikhoi. 
Barman grew up on a colonial farm where she and her family most likely worked as servants. Her mother died when she was age two, and her father, who was a cattle driver, died when she was still a young girl as well. By her teenage years, Bartman married a Khoi Khoi man who was a drummer, and they eventually had a child together, who unfortunately died shortly after birth. When Bartman was 16, her husband was murdered by Dutch colonists, and soon after, she was sold into slavery to a trader named Peter William Cesar, who took her to Cape Town, where she became a domestic slave to his brother Hendrik. On October 29, 1810, although she could not read, 21-year-old Sarah supposedly signed a contract with William Dunlop, a physician who was a friend of the Cesar brothers. This contract required her to travel with the Cesar brothers and Dunlop to England and Ireland, where she would work as a domestic servant since technically slavery had been abolished in Great Britain. Additionally, she would be exhibited for entertainment purposes. Bartman would receive a portion of her earnings from her exhibitions and would be allowed to return to South Africa after five years. However, the contract was false on all details and her enslavement continued for the remainder of her life. Bartman was first exhibited in London in the Egyptian Hall at Piccadilly Circus on November 24, 1810. Her public treatment, however, quickly drew the attention of British abolitionists who charged Dunlop and the Cesars with holding Bartman against her will. The court ruled against Bartman after Peter Cesar produced the contract that had been signed by Bartman, and she also testified that she was not being mistreated by her guardians. The publicity generated by the court trial increased Bartman's popularity as an exhibit, and she was taken on tours throughout England and by 1812 as far away as Limerick, Ireland. In September 1814, after staying four years in Great Britain, Bartman was taken to France and sold to S. Rue, an exhibitor who showcased animals. He put Bartman on public display in and around Paris, often at the Palais Royale. He also allowed her to be sexually abused by patrons willing to pay for her defilement. Rue garnered considerable profit due to the public's fascination with Bartman's body. Sarah Sarchi Bartman died in Paris on December 29, 1815, at the age of 26, for unknown reasons. Even after her death, many of her body parts would go on display at the Museum of Man in Paris to support racist theories about people of African ancestry. Some of the body parts remained on display until 1974. In 1994, South African President Nelson Mandela formally requested that Bartman's remains be returned to South Africa. On March 6, 2002, her remains were returned and buried at Hankey in the Eastern Cape Province. Black Venus, a 2010 French drama film directed by Abdelatif Kashike, is based on the life of Sarah Bartman and is a must-see for anyone who can stomach the disgusting truths to her deplorable final years. And if you didn't know, now you know.